Welcome to the DVR 2010 product demo. DVR 2010 is a flexible PC-based video solution. Over the next few minutes, I will be highlighting some of the key features of this software. If you require demonstration software, please email us at info at dvr2010.com. Let's start by connecting to a site. Pick a site from the site list, enter your username and password. We will now be connected in live mode. We can then change the display as required. Any video tile can now be populated by either clicking the camera in the list, right clicking on the tile, or simply dragging and dropping in the desired tile. Any camera may also be maximized by clicking the camera title. Return simply by clicking again. We can also connect to multiple sites at the same time. Just select the next site and go. This is handy if you have more than one location and wish to get a general view from all locations at the same time. Just adjust the view as required. You will notice that the PTZ support is fully functional in any view. The system also has support for full screen view in either a locked or unlocked mode. In locked mode, you will require a password to return to regular user mode. You also have the option to save this connection profile if you require this type of connection often. Any name will do. At any time, the user can also disconnect from one or all sites. Once saved, you can select your profile from the site list and connect. The Preferences allows us to select how the application starts and if it connects to a site with the options of Normal Mode, Full Screen Mode, or Locked Full Screen Mode. DVR 2010 has support for many point-of-sale systems as well as a variety of bank machines. It has the ability to show transactions as they occur. This specific POS system sends us the data at the end of the transaction. The receipt replicates what the customer gets. The software is fully scalable and can support from one to over 500 cameras. It has the ability to dynamically sort and rearrange the camera list as required. This is very useful when cameras are added or relocated later on down the road. As a result, the cameras get placed where they belong in the list rather than ending up at the bottom of the list.
we will now look at some of the playback functionality. PBR 2010 supports a wide variety of IP cameras and megapixel cameras. We can zoom in with either a simple box or the mouse wheel, rolling it in and out as required. In playback, the user simply selects the date to review, the time, and then uses the media control buttons to review the video. The video time is also displayed in the lower left hand corner of the video, as well as a frame number in the lower right hand corner of the video. All cameras are always synchronized during playback. When enabled, an event list is also available and indicates all motion within the captured video. It can be sorted by time or camera. Just highlight the event and play the video. At any time, the play speed may be adjusted. Additional cameras may be added as required. In playback, transactions may also be viewed. Just enable the event window and you will see the motion events as well as the transactions for that camera. Select show receipt and pick a transaction. The requested receipt and video will then appear ready for playback. PBR 2010 supports a flexible data mining module that allows the user to search any simple or complex information. The user also has the ability to create custom search functions as required. The results are then displayed for review. This search was for a small transaction with a large bill presented. This concludes the DBR 2010 demonstration. Please feel free to contact us for more information.